Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Interior Dimensions reality update video, episode 16. And you can see I can get, it looks like, six additional time theorems here, and also a few more eternity points. And this is with time study 121 at one time. So that's pretty encouraging because that means I'm going to be able to get quite a lot of eternity points here so it looks like i can get about 1.4 e45 eternity points it's not quite enough for this multiplier but instead i can spend it all in time dimensions and doing this will hopefully allow me to push even farther so yeah this did allow me to push farther i can get an additional three time theorems and i can get the eternity point multiplier i can probably also get a few more time theorems with eternity points but I don't think those are all that useful. Instead, I'm going to start going to challenges again. So, I'm going to try Eternity Challenge 7. It's been a little bit since I've done that. And I can do a full study tree besides 181 in Eternity Challenge 7. So, actually, no, no, I, I, I can't do 181 because I have to get the 115 time theorems. So, this means I do need to crunch and then I need to get E 1.4 million antimatter yikes well actually getting this E 1.4 million antimatter is pretty easy so hopefully this challenge is also going to be pretty easy I need E 3590 infinity points I can quickly get up to E 2500 infinity points but after that it's a little bit slower and even at max replicated galaxies I can get only E3000. So this isn't the most encouraging to sign, especially for a challenge like this, which has like high friction, so to speak. And that I'm not getting that much more or as a magnitude of infinity points like every run, like based on the last orders of magnitude. So it actually looks like this is going to be very close. But unfortunately, it looks just out of reach still, which is annoying. So I guess, oh wait, wait, E3535? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that, but that must have been a galaxy or something. Yeah, I'm still 50 orders of magnitude away. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it. So exit challenge. What do I do? There's a tourney challenge eight, but I don't want to, I don't want to wait that long there's eternity challenge six which i could do i may maybe i can do that eternity challenge four is impossible at this point so i'm gonna try eternity challenge six it's really the only eternity challenge i can actually do so yeah i'm going to try it hopefully hopefully it's gonna be possible here so e1600 i've tried this one a lot because it works in my normal study build study tree build but maybe this time it's possible because of my eternity whatever like extra attorney upgrades extra time a time dimension upgrades extra just everything well it looks like this is going to be pretty close i went from e1455 to e1521 not sure how much I'm going to get here. Actually, it looks like it's just enough to get E1600 infinity points. Thankfully. Finally. A successful challenge. The next one is at E1850, though. So that's kind of impossible. The next thing I could do, maybe, I could go back into this. Especially if this is... This looks pretty useful for Attorney Challenge 7. So I actually might want to literally just go right back to Attorney Challenge 7. Even though I just tried it. Because I was pretty close. See, so yeah, I'm going to go right back into it. And, of course, it's the same goal as before. Hopefully this time, it's possible. So E2700, E3000. I'm just going to look at my replicated galaxies here. Crunch when I get to max. E3393. That, that's a good sign. I should be able to, yeah, look at this. Super easy. The, the boost from Attorney Challenge 5 is all I needed there. So, there we go. Next completion is 
I don't even know what it's at. E4,000 infinity points. Yeah, that's that doesn't look possible at this point. So I could try Eternity Challenge 8. I could also try grinding Eternity points. So that's what I think I'm going to do. There also is the possibility of trying to go with a minimal time study build for Eternity Challenge 4. Like skip everything that's not completely necessary. And that's what, I, that's what I'm probably going to do right after this round of Eternity Point grinding. I can already get all the way up to E46 Eternity Points. And this is with a weak multiplier and 121. So this is actually pretty crazy. I can gain 19 Time Theorems right there. So this is really making me think that, yes, the best strategy is to do... Eternity Challenge 4 last time. And of course I'm going to get these. And there's... I'm also getting pretty close to this this powerful upgrade, which is Time Dimensions are multiplied by your days played. It's... Well, I haven't really been playing for this long. Well, actually, my save is even longer than this, but it got deleted like a month ago. So that's a shame. But anyway, yeah, E48 Eternity Points. I kind of want to push this E50 since I'm already so close at this point. So that's what I'm going to do. And these attorneys runs actually are not that long. They're, if, if you go to statistics and go to past prestige runs, it, well, of course, the past 10 attorneys is actually very quick because of time study 121. But the real attorneys still are not very long. They're maybe 30 seconds instead of what they used to be, which is like five minutes. So you can see how quickly it is going up here. Which means I can get multiple time theorems. And now I actually have enough to get do attorney challenge four outright with a full study trait and 181. Which is nice. So here's the E50. I can't get both of these at once, so I'm actually gonna do one more run and I'll show you how quick this was. This was about 40 seconds. So yeah, that that's how quick this actually is. Like it, it, it actually feels fast almost. But there's I still have a, a ways to go. The the next milestone with time theorems is being able to afford Eternity Challenge Nine. I need four hundred and fifteen time theorems at one fifty one, which means if you take what I have, add up all of this stuff, two seventy five, two ninety, three hundred four. And then I can skip some of these, so 309, 319. Yeah, I'm still pretty far away from 415. Even as I keep accumulating additional time theorems. So here's E51 attorney points. It's enough to get this upgrade and get all of these upgrades. I may want to do even one run, one additional run, because of how powerful that upgrade will be. So that's what I'm actually going to do. So yeah, this upgrade really was powerful. I'm able to get like almost 20 time theorems right there just from the upgrade. It's enough to get almost two more multipliers. So I might want to do this again, but I think the play now... Okay, may, okay, I'm already like halfway there, so I will do another run. But after this run, I will respec my time studies. So I can go for Eternity Challenge for last time. And this will be the last time I need to grind infinities, I think. I don't need I don't need to grind infinities to get this one, which is actually nerfed to 2e9 instead of 5e9. So there we go. 8e54 eternity points. I'm gonna get all of this and then basically just fill out the time study tree and get time dimensions idle so I can get attorney challenge four. And then I will turn on the infinity auto buyer so I can actually grind the infinities to beat the challenge. So yeah, see you in a, see you in a while. Okay, I have finally gotten enough infinities to be able to get to eternity challenge for last time. So I can't fail the challenge. 
I fail a challenge if I crunch once. So I'm going to want to avoid doing that. So here we go. Eternity Challenge 4 last time. I need E49, 50, Infinity Points. That is super easy. I can blow past that. E56, Eternity Points as well. So that gives me another multiplier and a few more time dimensions. And then, what do I do? So I I, I'll buy Max of this. That puts me at 455, Time Theorem. That's not going to be enough to get to Eternity Challenge 9. So instead, I could do Attorney Challenge 6, 7, 8. It's maybe been a while since I've done 6. And with... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go for 6. Why not? It's It's been a decent bit, I guess, since 6. So I'm going to go for that. I can also get Time Study 181 and... Do Eternity Challenge 6. That is... That, that is interesting. At least. Getting the requirement is no problem here. So let's see if I can get E1850 Infinity Points. So the only reason why I'd want to crunch at all is to... Get this multiplier back up. That's really the only reason I want to. And it looks like... Yep, yeah, GG easy. Last completion of Attorney Challenge 6. So now I have Attorney Challenge 7 and 8. And I I did 7 pretty recently, but I haven't done 8 recently. So I'm going to want to go for... I'm, I'm going to try 8. So let's see. 8 costs a bit more. I still might be able to get Time Study 181 within it. Which would be very... That's actually very good in Attorney Challenge 8. So, yep, I can get um, 181 in Attorney Challenge 8. So, that is nice. I never need to crunch in this challenge. Which, in something like this, is pretty important. So now I'm, of course, as usual, going to get this. This challenge looks like it is no problem. I just... I'll get the 9% Replicate chance, and I don't think I need very many Replicated Galaxies, if any. So, I, I think I can get away with even this, and this will give me E3100 Infinity Points, eventually. It's not instant. I think I do need some Replicated Galaxies. I'll get, I'll get 5 max, just in case, but doesn't even look like I need that, actually, because I'm already almost there. I can, I'll can, i crunch just for the E3100 infinity points, and there we go. So next completion of this challenge is very far out, so I'm not going to go for that. Instead, I'm going to go for just plain all eternity points. Let's see how many time theorems I'm going to be able to get. The challenge rewards are getting stronger and stronger now. And you can see I am way past where I was in infinity points. I can get... That's 48... That's 50 time theorems. And I can get... I can get three of the multiplier upgrades. And I can get quite a lot of these as well. Plus, I can get an additional 17 time theorems. So... Yeah, you can just see how powerful this really is. So, hopefully this is going to be enough time theorems to start doing Eternity Challenge 9. So, let's see, this is... I can see how many time theorems I'm getting because I started at exactly 200. And, yeah, I'm just going to do this. E65 Eternity Points. Two more multiplier upgrades. A bunch of this, and then go back here. Get... 12 additional time theorems and I I want to have enough so that I can get everything except 181 in Attorney Challenge 9. That would be very nice. Like, I, I actually, you know, I would have 430 at this point. So I, I guess this will be my last run until I start trying to go into Attorney Challenge 9. So here we go. 10 more time theorems. Like, could have even gone a little bit more there, but... I was clicking it as I saw, I was clicking the Eternity button as I saw more time theorems, so 
There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna respec and just buy everything. I forgot what the challenge is about, so I'm just gonna go in the usual routes to get there. And so we can get everything. Let's see, I, I I need a bunch of infinity power. Well, I, I I can just crunch. I'm just using the C button to crunch. And it shouldn't be it is a little annoying to have to do this because now I'm used to time study 181, but I should be fine. I, I have E9000 infinity points. I still need quite a lot of infinity power. Maybe I should go infinity dimension roots instead of time dimension roots. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I, I have no problem reaching this requirement, which is a good sign. And this is, oh, you cannot buy tick speed upgrades and infinity power instead multiplies time dimensions with greatly reduced effect. So I think time dimensions was the way to go because basically it's like replacing your regular tick speed upgrades with more time dimension tick speed upgrades. So I need E1750 infinity points. And this really doesn't look bad at all. I can get there without, without even trying. I can probably even get to um, the second completion of this challenge. So that's that's what I'm gonna go for. The reward of this challenge is an infinity infinity dimension multiplier based on my time shards. So that's that's pretty powerful. It's gonna it's gonna get me pretty far. So yeah, that's it's interesting to see that. And this will also help me with additional completions of this challenge. Okay, so now we can start the challenge again. It's probably going to be super easy, considering how easy it was the first time. We can, we can see Replicated Galaxies just to see how easy it is. I don't think I can probably do a third completion, but it actually looks somewhat close for even the second completion, but it looks like I'll, I'll make it, but I won't have very much room to spare. So yeah, it's actually a lot closer than I thought, but I can I can make it barely. So E1996, E1998, is this E2000? Yeah, E2000, barely. So there we go, challenge complete. And now what do I want to do? Maybe Attorney Challenge 7? Maybe, I don't want to do Attorney Challenge 8. I could grind more eternity points yeah I'm, I'm gonna grind more eternity points because it seems like that is very successful at this point so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so yeah let's see how mu much eternity points i will get next episode hope you enjoyed peace out